Today we're looking at eight new TV shows and movies coming out in November 2023 that feature queer women in them. First up, coming out November 3rd, we have a new Netflix movie called Nyad. I just know I can do it and I couldn't do it without you. This tells the remarkable true story of athlete Diana Nyad, who at the age of 60, with the help of her best friend and coach, commits to achieving her lifelong dream, a 110 mile open ocean swim from Cuba to Florida. That's actually insane just in itself. Like, <laughs> I can't swim 500 meters. <laughs> so Aneta Benning plays uh, Diana Nyad and Jodie Foster plays her best friend, Bonnie Stuhl. Both Diana and Bonnie are gay. And I kind of love that so this movie isn't highlighting necessarily like a queer love story, but it's highlighting a queer friendship. I feel like we don't see too much of that. Um, so I'm excited to check this one out. It actually looks really amazing, this one. So that's uh, hitting Netflix uh, November 3rd. Also coming out on November 3rd on Netflix, we have Selling Sunset Season 7. So real estate brokers at the Oppenheim Group are the stars of this Netflix reality show. They sell big, expensive houses to the rich and famous, but they also sell their drama to the world. Chriselle is seen in a leading role in this show. She's been in it since season one. The past couple seasons, we've seen her enter into her first queer relationship with non-binary singer G Flip, who is is Australian as well and I saw them not too long ago they're amazing looks like we will potentially get to see a little bit more from their relationship in the new season I'm really trying to figure out this balance of work and social settings I think it follows a little bit of G flips tour so that'll be interesting to check out also coming out November 3rd is orphan black echoes and you've been through a procedure what procedure now this is an interesting one because uh, the show is set to release in the US on AMC in 2024 but for some reason it's coming out early here in Australia on November 3rd on the streaming site Stan so you know if you need a VPN to get access to Stan there will be a VPN uh, linked in the description it's the one that I use so you guys can check that out it's the first time that something has come out in Australia first I think but Orphan Black Echoes is based off the original TV show Orphan Black that aired from 2013 to 2017. I absolutely loved Orphan Black. I love Kasima and Delphine's relationship. It's just oh, perfection. So Echoes is set in the same universe, but it's set in the future. It's set in 2052. And it continues the exploration of scientific manipulation of human existence or, you know, clones. Now it's not been confirmed if we will see clones the same way we did in the original series with Tatiana Maslany playing all the clones and we regularly having multiple clones in one scene. It is set in the future so that they've potentially like enhanced and refined how they make clones so maybe they don't have to make as many at one time. I have no idea how it's going to work in this new series. Something to note though, it's rumored that Keely Hughes will be playing the grown-up Kira Manning. So if you guys watch the original Orphan Black, Kira Manning is Sarah Manning's daughter. She was this adorable little girl. She was in the whole series. So apparently she's going to be all grown up in this new series and she's a scientist. There were some audio books that came out. I honestly haven't listened to them, so I don't know. But this is where we did learn a little bit about Kira. Apparently she went to college, she became a scientist, and she's also apparently very gay which yay. So hopefully all those rumors are true and we get to see a queer Kira in uh, Orphan Black Echoes. Now coming out November 4th is a Lifetime movie called You're Not Supposed to Be Here. I guess they don't see a couple like us very often. <laughs> Where's the lucky dad? Just two moms actually. So this is another appearance from uh, Chrishell who like I mentioned is in Selling Sunset but she is starring in this movie that's coming out on Lifetime. So the story centers around Chriselle's pregnant character Zoe and her wife Kennedy. They're escaping to a cabin in the woods for a peaceful honeymoon. However, Zoe is immediately nervous about the local people who do not appreciate the couple's presence as she soon finds herself plunged into a nightmare. Look, this looks like a very cheesy thriller. It could be a lot of fun or it could be just a bad mess. <laughs> Time will tell. So if you're interested in um, this cheesy 
thriller that's on Lifetime. It's dropping November 4th. Coming out November 7th is I Hate People, People Hate Me. It's a TV miniseries on CBC Gem. They're gonna make a movie about us one day. Maybe a shitty Canadian web series. So this is a new Canadian six episode dark comedy about two outliers in the Toronto queer community doing their best to navigate it. The trailer looks very, very messy and I don't know if this series is gonna be my cup of tea. I'll check it out, obviously, just in case it's a pleasant surprise. Um, but yeah, I'm curious, uh, how does this look to you guys? Are you guys interested in checking this one out? Coming out November 8th though is The Buccaneers season one on Apple TV+. Plus. Goodness, what a lady you are. Mm, all I've ever wanted to be. So The Buccaneers are the daughters of America's new rich. Beautiful and untamable. Despite the best efforts of England's finest governesses, they are on their way to London to snare themselves an astrocrat. Did I say that right? Probably not. Astrocat. No, astro. Um, we're gonna go with the first one. Low in funds, but high in class to make the perfect match. Look, it's giving Bridgerton vibes. I mean, I feel like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like all these sort of like modern period pieces give mod uh, Bridgerton vibes. That could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you like. To be honest, I'm actually pretty excited for it because I'm a fan of Bridgerton. But the good thing about this one compared to Bridgerton is we actually get some sapphic characters. We get a sapphic love story. I'm excited. We only got like a tiny sneak peek in the trailer, but it's more than Bridgerton's given in how many seasons and a spin-off. Yeah, look, I'm I'm excited for this one. <laughs> and to be honest, Apple TV like shows, they're like pretty quality. I feel like I'm like really enjoying Apple TV stuff. Also coming out on Apple TV this month uh, on November 10th is For All Mankind season four. This job on Mars. I could be doing something that I never even dreamed of. So this explores the possibilities that might exist if the global space race had continued and where humanity would be now. Jody Balfour plays Ellen Waverly, who is the president of the United States in this reality. And she's also gay as fuck, which we love. Unfortunately, I believe she's only in a few episodes of the new season, which sucks. So I'm not entirely sure how much sapphic content we're gonna get in season four. Bit of a shame, but I've watched the first season. I've yet to catch up on the rest of the seasons. But from what I've heard, this show is just a quality show um, regardless. So if you guys are interested, season four is dropping at November 10th. A new movie coming out on video on demand on November 17th is When Time Got Louder. I'm just worried. I mean, Abby is the only friend he's ever had. So this follows Abby as she departs for college, leaving behind her parents and her brother, Caden, who has autism and is non-verbal. As she explores her newfound independence and develops a romance with Carly, who is played by Ava Capri, Abby feels guilty when her family struggles to care for her brother in her absence. Look, this movie looks so depressing, but it does look good as well. So look, I'm pretty keen to watch this one, but I'm gonna need some tissues, I think. I'm gonna be bawling my goddamn eyes out, no doubt. Now onto a couple that I think might be gay, but I, nothing is confirmed yet. So the first one coming out November 1st is another Netflix movie called Wing Woman. Tired of a life on the run, we have two expert thieves recruit Feisty Sam to assist them with one last job, unlike any they've done before. Now, all three of these women have chemistry. They would all look gorgeous together. I don't care in what pairing, we could go in OT3, let's do that. But it also stars Adele, I'm not even gonna, bother trying with her last name because I'm gonna butcher it and that's not gonna be fun for anyone. But she starred in Blue is the Warmest Color. So if this movie isn't gay, I'm gonna be so mad. It's just like a waste if it's not gay. <laughs> Next thing coming out November 13th, we have NCIS Sydney. What was once the far side of the world is now the most contested patch of water on the planet. Season one is dropping on Paramount Plus here in Australia. I'm not sure if it will be dropping worldwide on Paramount Plus. And if it is dropping worldwide, I'm not sure if it's dropping on the day. 
that's something you'll have to look into your region. But here in Australia, it's dropping Paramount Plus on uh, November 13th. Otherwise, you can watch it on Channel 10 as well. So with the rising international tensions in the Indo-Pacific, a brilliant team of US NCIS agents and the Australian Federal Police are grafted into a multinational task force to keep naval crimes in check in the most contested patch of ocean on the planet. What a summary, what a bio, what a description. After the beloved couple Kate and Lucy on NCIS Hawaii, I'm really hoping like the NCIS team are watching, paying attention to what their fandom is actually enjoying. So I'm hoping the NCIS NCIS Sydney team is taking note and we get a queer character, a queer love story in this one. My hope is it's Mavorni Hazel's character. Her name is Blue. I'm hoping she's queer just because honestly, she gives me queer vibes. So that's all I'm saying. Like that's, like I said, these aren't confirmed, but I'm hoping. <laughs> so not a bad month for November, to be honest. Like considering the last couple months, it's not a bad month. Let me know if there's any other TV shows or movies that I missed in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.